Hi everyone, my name is Rolando Capistrano. I am a respiratory therapist and I am the clinical application specialist for respiratory care for GE Healthcare in ASEAN. Before we start, I would like to remind all of you that it is recommended to wear a proper personal protective equipment, PPE, before you do any decontamination procedures of used hospital equipment. Please follow your hospital's protocol for decontamination procedures. First, I will show you how to remove and clean the exhalation valve housing. The exhalation valve housing of your CareScape R860 ventilator contains the expiratory flow sensor and water trap. To remove the housing, press down the latch to release the exhalation valve housing and then pull the housing from the ventilator. This is the exhalation valve assembly. You have the expiratory flow sensor, the diaphragm, water trap, the spring-loaded plunger, and the O-ring. So how do we do a manual cleaning using a mild detergent solution? First, we create a mild detergent solution by doing the following. Dilute Neodysher MediClean solution with a warm potable tap water less than 40 degree to form a 2% solution. Create a homogeneous solution by agitating the mixture. Second, Wash and soak the parts in a mild detergent solution for a minimum of 30 minutes in a clean soaking tray at a temperature up to a maximum of 40 degrees. Ensure that all surfaces of the parts are submerged and no air bubbles are visible. Gently agitate the parts under the solution to remove and dislodge any debris. Submerge exhalation valve assembly in a solution and push down on the spring-loaded plunger repeatedly. Use a soft plastic brush to remove stubborn debris from the external surfaces. Do not use a brush, abrasive sharp tools, or any methods that may damage the inside or surface of the parts. Rinse the parts thoroughly for 2 minutes in a cold potable tap water. After 2 minutes, then rinse for 2 minutes with a warm potable tap water. After 2 minutes, remove the parts from the solution and allowing the cavities to drain and dry in room air. Parts must be fully dry before disinfecting or reassembling into the ventilator. Do not wipe part surface during the drying process. Check the parts for deterioration such as deformation or cracking. What are the parts that can be cleaned manually using a soaking method? You have the neonatal flow sensor, expiratory flow sensor, exhalation valve assembly, D-Light sensor and the Pedilite sensor. 